Hey everybody, what is going on? This is Eric from Online Biz TV where we teach you everything you need to know about everything related to business online. In today's video, we're going to talk about domain flipping and how to make money with domains. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you know whenever we go live or release new videos. If you have any questions, comment them in the comment section below. We will answer all of you. And yeah, just do that because we invest a lot of effort in these videos. <laughs> let's get started. First of all, let's talk about what is a domain or domain name. So domain name is pretty much what you write down in the URL box in order to get to a website. For example, facebook.com is the domain for the Facebook website. Google.com is the domain name for the Google website. So this is just an example and obviously it's pretty self-explanatory. Now, let's talk about how do you make money by buying and selling domain? And the answer to that is super simple. You buy low and you sell high. Like anything else in the world, this is how business works. It's important to mention that if a domain is available, which means nobody bought it yet, it's going to be available for you for a few single bucks. But once you have it, once you own the domain, you can sell it for how much you want and you just need to pay a yearly retainer. It's like a few dollars every year. So that's all you need to know about the cost of domains. Obviously, if someone sell you his domain, he can sell it to you for how much you want and after that you just need to pay this yearly retainer which is a few bucks every year so about domain cost this is it there is nothing else hidden this is all you need to know now just to give you some perspective the most expensive domain voice.com was sold in 2019 for 30 million dollars 360.com was sold for 17 million dollars back in 2015 now when these domains were initially purchased probably back in 1983 or or something like that someone bought it for a single dollar or a few single dollars you can calculate the ROI here on your own this is just to let you know that the value of these domains over time goes up and that the ROI on purchasing these domains can be insane if you get the right domains however if you just type in something random on your keyboard and buy a domain which is like 40 characters long there is a good chance nobody will ever purchase it for any amount and you're just gonna lose money so you need to use your brain here and find the right domains for the right people and sell it to them after we uh, establish the fact that what are domains and how pretty much you make money out of it. Let's talk about extensions. It's important to mention that there are a few different extensions to domain. What are extensions? Extensions are the dot something at the end of a domain name. The most popular one is dot com, okay? And you do want to aim to get these domains. Another types of popular extension might be dot net and dot org. And after that, you got tons of different extensions. You got dot edu, dot studies, dot biz, dot store, dot online, based on country, you got IN for India, you got .EU, or you got COIL for Israel, and for each and every country you got like different types of these extensions. Okay, so you need to take this in mind when you purchase domain, you want to go for a .com, or if not, you need to go for something very specific and you need to aim for that something specific. So let's talk about these strategies and few different ways you can go about buying and selling domain. The first option, which is the one that I like the most personally, is just buy a domain and hold it. If you find a domain that you think is high value and it's available, just purchase it and let it sit down for a couple of years and wait to start getting offers for it. Now, the more you wait, probably the value will go just higher and higher. So this is the one that I find most attractive, but again, it's not something that is a must. And when you do this, you will have to pay a few dollars every month for each domain that you hold. Again, assuming that the value is going to go up with the years. Now, the second strategy would be to buy and sell for a specific buyer. And there are two strategies to go about it. First of all, if you own an agency, if you have a business that is related to building businesses or building websites, what you can do is whenever you get a new client, they might need a new domain for their store or their online business. What you can do is just buy available domain and suggest it to them at a higher price. Let's say that you build websites for a living and you now have a new gym that is a client and wants to build his own website. Obviously, gym.com is unavailable, but you can suggest him something very similar. Buy it for a couple of dollars if it's available and then sell it for them for a few hundred dollars. That's very simple. That's a very easy flip. The other strategy about selling to a specific person or company would be to search 
work for these companies that you know are profitable, but they have these awful domains. And I'll give you an example. We used to be one of these companies. Our main product is called Reconvert and we got now the reconvert.io domain. But before that, the website was tilioapps.info. And that's a horrible, horrible domain. Now, if someone would have bought the reconvert.io domain and would sell it to us, we would probably pay a few thousand dollars to get this domain. So just to let you know how this could work, you want to identify these companies that have a domain that is unnecessarily related to exactly the company name, find the domain. If it's available at a lower price, get this domain and then sell it to them at much higher price. The third option, which is kind of a mix of the two first option would be to buy a domain, build a website on top of it to sell it as a single package to the relevant buyer. And then you have a much higher probability of selling it for a higher price. Okay guys, so now let's get into some more technical stuff. You now understand what are domains and what are the strategies of getting started. Now let's talk about actual practical tips I can give you. Let's start with a few tools you need to be aware about when you're getting into domain flipping. So let me just jump into the computer and I'll show you around. Now the first tool we're going to explore is namebio.com and this website will allow you to type in a keyword and see relevant domains sold in the past. You're going to be able to see exactly where it was sold and for how much. So let's just make an example. Let's just write down dog. You can sort it out by placement, extension, venue, which is where it was sold, the category, etc. There's plenty of things you can do here. What you're going to see here, anything that contains dog. All right. So yeah, let's look at these domains. You can see that these domains were sold for $800. This was back in May. You see that every day there is a domain sold with the keyword dog in it. Some of them for a lot of money. Some of them are less. And again, shaggy dog, that might be uh, one of the examples that I told you about finding these companies that don't have a domain. I don't know who are shaggydog.com, but there is a good chance someone find this domain, bought it, and then sold this to this company. This is just an idea, right? And this one was sold in uh, Namejet, Dropcatch, GoDaddy, you can see is the most popular one. Cedo is one that we're going to discuss in a few minutes. And you can also sort it out by price, by the way. If you just want to see the most expensive one, hotdog.com was sold for $150,000 back in 2015 on Flippa. Okay, so you can just really play with it and start learning the prices, try to understand the value of different domains. This is the first tool. Okay, the next tool we're going to talk about is cedo.com. This is a great website to list your domain in because usually it contains very high quality buyers and you can connect your GoDaddy account Account, which we are going to cover in a few minutes to Cedo in order to list all your domains from GoDaddy in this website. Now let's talk about GoDaddy. GoDaddy is probably the number one place to buy and sell domains because it's just the most popular one and it got tons of traffic. 52 million visits every month. And if you're going to type in a domain, let's say dog.com, GoDaddy is going to let you know if the domain is taken or available. You can see that this domain is taken, but it's going to suggest you a couple of other extensions or .com domains that are relevant and for similar prices. Now, the beautiful thing about GoDaddy here is that once it, you buy a domain, you can also list it for sale. And I'm going to give you a few examples of domain that I purchased not long ago, and I'll show you it on GoDaddy as well. Let's talk about another very important tool, dan.com. Now, what I like about this website is that it's not only going to let you sell domains, it's also going to let you rent domains. Let's say that you have a cool domain and you want to rent it for someone, but keep the domain ownership. What you can do here is list your domain here for sale, list it for an amount that is is much cheaper than buying it, uh, but keep the ownership of the domain so that if the domain value keeps going up, you still own the domain. So I'll show you an example. Okay, so this is my domain actually, and I listed it here for sale. And the beautiful thing about it that, yeah, I can I can list it for $100 a month and I'm still gonna own the domain, which I personally love the idea of renting domains. Another very cool tool that you got here is estibot.com. And this tool is going to run some cool algorithm in order to estimate the value of a domain you want to buy. I think it's worth paying for if you really want to get into domain flipping. But let's just give an example here. Let's just do upsell, which is a keyword from the e-commerce world, something that I understand a little about. Let's see the value of the domain. Yeah. All right. So upsell.com, they evaluate for $19,000 and they're going to give you some more details about why they estimated for this price. Very cool domain estimation bot. Once you register, you can actually list down all of your domains and track the change in value for all of them. Let's try another example. Let's just do something random that is like five letters. Let's see what's the value of this domain is going to be. Less than $100. Again, so they kind of understand that it's nothing and therefore the value goes down. The last tool that I want you to be familiar with, it's a very old website, but it works very well. It's called justdrop.com and that's going to allow you to find domains 
that the ownership just ended or about to get ended and then you're going to be able to find very great opportunities for domains that are being sold for much less than what they actually worth so let's just search for dog for example and let's just do .com domains there are plenty of other fields as you can do i'm just going to do show me the domains and as you can see here there are plenty of domains that are now available and just dropped not long ago and here you're going to be able to find them at a very cheap and affordable price sometimes you're going to find very very cool and high value domains here that you can just list for pennies on the dollar. Okay guys, so now that I showed you a few tools that I actually use when I'm looking for uh, new domains, I want to show you uh, one example of one domain that I purchased, why I purchased it, and what the value of that domain. Okay, so if I head over to GoDaddy, I can type in somecalculator.com, and this is a domain I own, uh, and I listed it for a minimum offer of $100. Now, I don't know exactly for how much it's going to be sold. I'm still waiting for the right offer, but if I search in name by or calculator, calculator and just sort it by dates and prices, you can see that there's plenty of different uh, calorycalculator.com was sold for $5,000, onlinecalculator.com sold for $8,000. And also the reason I, I specifically bought soundcalculator.com was the reason that this keyword has tons of traffic to it, which is related to the secret method. And now I'm going to show you my way of finding these free available domains that in my opinion are high value and are going to be sold for a much higher price. First of all, you need to head over to hrfs.com and then you need to head over to Keyword Explorer. Now you need to pick a niche that you want to find domains around. So I'm just going to use something super general like case. There are so many things you can put case around. Make sure you search for Google and then just click search. If you scroll down, you're going to see there are 6 million recommendations related to search and I'm going to sort it by volume. So each keyword that you see here, this is the amount of searches you get every month just in the US for these specific keywords. All right, what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to export this and I'm going to use the first 1000 option and let's just click export. Perfect. Now I have this CSV file. Let's just open two new rows here. I can delete all of these keywords. They are kind of irrelevant. What I care about is just the volume. What I want to do is I'm going to first copy this column right here and I'm going to call this no spaces. Now I'm going to replace all the spaces with nothing. Perfect. And I'm going to use this last column to just concat this keyword with .com. And this is going to run through everything here. Awesome. Let's just take, you know, the first, I don't know, 200 results here. And I'm gonna head over to GoDaddy Bulk Domain Search. I'm gonna paste it here and I'm just gonna click Search Domain. Awesome. Now you can see that these two top ones are already taken, but we got camera head case. What is this? If we head over here, let's find this keyword. All right, so camera hard case. Sounds like a great keyword. This is actually an awesome domain. I don't know if it's an actual brand, Let's see. Okay, so this domain is available. It look like a very commercial keyword. Camera hard case, it seems like something that people would like to buy. And you can see here that this keyword have 12,000 searches per month. This is a great, great keyword to buy. Okay, so this is just an example of one domain. Uh, I might just purchase this one after I finish recording this video. Let's look at some more options here. By the way, GoDaddy is not going to show us one that are not available, but it will show us some that are purchased but are listed for sale. Yeah, this is too long. I'm not even going to look at this iPhoneXCase.com. Uh, I mean, yeah, you don't want to buy something related to iPhone just because when you do this research, you really want to be cautious of any trademarks because it might be illegal and you might get knocked down. So just don't do that. Instead of trying to think from your intuition exactly which keywords are going to be available and search for them, you want to give HRFs the power to do it for you. It's already listed by the most search domains out there. So what you want to do is just every time pick a niche, export this list, make sure you got just the .com domains, search them in the bulk domain search, and then try to understand the value of that domain. And if it's a good one that got commercial intention behind it, just purchase that domain and hold it. By the way, guys, just to give you uh, an estimation of how much this domain is going to worth, uh, you can use STBot, but I already opened GoDaddy, so I just want to show you what it looks like. If you head over here, they got this free appraisal tool. Again, I highly recommend using STBot because it's more accurate, but if you just click get value, it's going to give you an estimation of the value of this domain. I guess it's going to be pretty high. Yeah, all right. So they estimated for a thousand dollars. I don't know if it's a thousand dollars, but that's definitely a good one to purchase and I might go for it. 
All right, guys, this is it. Thank you so much. I just shared with you everything I know about flipping and purchasing domains and how to find them and all the secret techniques I personally use. And I hope it's going to help you as much as it helped me. Guys, if you like this video, please make sure to comment in the comment section below. Any questions, any comments, any new videos you would like us to know if I forgot something, if there's any tool, if you think something I said was wrong or there's a better way to do it, please mention it in the comment section below. I promise I will answer each and every one of you. Also, if you like the video, please smash that notifications button so you know whenever I release new videos obviously subscribe like it and I'll see you on the next video bye bye